Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Darkness Falls. It is day eight, and we got a wandering horde that just showed up. It's like right after the horde. You're a runner too. Damn it, they're both runners, and I'm injured. You're a runner. Runners for everybody. I got a broken arm here. So this is like right after the horde. Picked up right where I left off last episode. I was repairing the walls and of course these guys just showed up. So did we get everybody over here? Looks like they cleared them out. Nice. So I'm just going to go around real quick. Fill in these holes. So at least we don't have the abilities for zombies just to basically wander in. Uninterrupted. Then we're going to go check out Jen. I'm afraid to go see if she's still there. I think she is. Looks like... The, I don't think they got in. They just broke through the walls at her place. Uh, I got to figure out... We're going to have to get some turrets up over there. Or we're going to have to, like, cut a hole and drop her. Drop her so she's, so she's not on the main level here. We put her in, in like an underground cave or something underneath the base. Okay, this is pretty much okay. Looks like they chose all new weak points here. Yeah, they created new weak points all the way around. Yeah, they went a little crazy over here and we're just banging on shit. It's weird that they cut holes in here rather than going through the door. I think if I put angle blocks out there to kind of funnel them into the door. It'll be better. All right, Jen, let's see how you did here. I know you're missing half your building. Good morning to my favorite customer. Yeah, I know. I should have fixed your base a little more. Um, <laughs> got any jobs? Anything close by? No? That's fine. We got shit to do today anyway. Uh, anything new here? No. Uh, no. And we've already got your other work, so... All right, well... Let's get outside and fix her base here. So the goal for today will be to get this fixed and upgraded. That's 2,000 hit points steel too. I don't know why they went there and didn't just come up. Like the hordes in Darkness Falls are going to operate a little differently than regular hordes. I gotta keep that in mind. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, there's a new loot bag. Ah, blueberry seed. All right, one less seed I have to make. Wow, 74 hours because I keep doing stuff with my arm. Uh, yeah, that's uh, not gonna be that good. That corn is growing. Okay, let's go see the guy in here. I think it's a, um, I think it's a splint we need. Well, at least they didn't try to break in here to get up to this level. That's a bonus. Still got two guard captains, I have no idea why. Um, got anything close by? Fetch to the southeast. Fetch to the southeast. This one's a little closer. Yeah, a little predicament. Oh, thank you. All right, that's one of the newer houses, so we'll take that one. All right, what do we got here we can just deposit? I want to plant that, though, I think. Uh, let, me, let me get this stuff put away, and then we'll figure out what we're doing. All right, so I think we got stuff sorted here. Now let's just see what is going on with our break here. Broken arm. Uh, cast will speed up healing. Wellness reduced. Okay, so if we go ahead and get ourselves one of these guys. You come back sometime. Alright, down to 20 minutes. That ain't bad. But then we're gonna be doing a lot today anyway. So we got a bunch of stuff here to sell. What can I do without needing my arm? Like I need my arm for pretty much everything that we're going to be doing. Oh, uh, you know what we need to do is make a metal workbench. 
that out of there. So the metal workstation is 25 forged iron electrical parts of wood. So we got that. So forged iron, electrical parts. We need to get more of those today if we can. Get that crafted, four and a half minutes, five minutes. Put you away, what else do we need? The big forge, uh, or what's it called? Not advanced forged, uh, is it just big? The big forge, yeah. Um, crucible requires forged a lot of forged iron, so we need to get mined steel for that. This is stone, clay, leather, duct tape, and pipes. So that we could probably do as well. So let's get that started. Um, pipes, we need six duct tape. We might as well turn that all into duct tape. Uh, clay, leather. Okay, once we get the metal workstation done, we can craft our own pistols. So how many points did we get last night? Five points. Wow. A hell of a lot more than I thought we'd get. Okay, so we want to do science crafting at least tier one. We want another level of gun crafting for sure. Uh, one more of tool crafting. So that's three. And then we want to go to uh, laborer. Can we get the next... What does this give us now? Shotgun, turret, nail gun, various powered doors. Don't think that we need that right away. Farmer, do we want to go up and sous chef? Tomato juice, orange tea, recipes. It's not really going to give us a ton right now. Irrigation system, carrot seeds and banana seeds. Maybe. Uh, Robin Hood, we want to do more damage with the bow maybe? Blade weapons, Pummel Pete, maybe? More block damage. This gets us resources faster. Uh, scavenging, rifle weapons. Boomstick, better shotgun damage. Increasing fire rate. Let's grab one into that. And then I think we're going to grab another l level here. So we're spending less time mining and doing other things like that. And then let's make a, uh, let's grab you. Actually, you know, we got a level 32 axe we, we just picked up. So let's not waste that resource. Um, so the big forge, what do you require? Claw hammer required. Um, can we make a hammer? can. Forged iron. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, we're one short on duct tape. Alright, we're gonna go see if we can buy some here. Uh, where's the forged iron? There we go. Let's get a hammer going. And then we'll buy some duct tape from her. Hopefully you've got duct tape. 15 minutes on that repair. My arm repair, that is. Alright, uh, inventory... Duct tape. We need one. Let's only get one. We'll sell the rest here that we don't need. Uh, you can go goodbye, goodbye. Oh, you don't want the shoes, huh? Take those, take that. So what are we setting at now? 2,500? That's not too bad, I guess. You know what we should do? That was a good deal. Let's read this. Trust me. I'm a doctor. How far away is it? How far away? That's actually not that bad. What time of day is it? Yeah, we could do that. Let's drop this stuff off at home. Hopefully that metal forge is pretty much done. Is it done? Ah. Uh, damn it. Let's hang around for a bit. Let's get that metal forge done. We need these. We need actually need this out too. Go in here for sell later. Uh, we're gonna hang on to that guy. Oh yeah, we wanted to see 
what kind of mods we can make now. So we can make the cooling mesh mod. We need glue, scrap polymers, mechanical parts, and oil, which we can easily get. Uh, what else? Yeah, there's a fair shotgun tube extender mod. It all comes down to how many generic schematics we're going to have, right? So magazine extender is good. Once we get our pistol, that is. Okay, ah, fair enough. We'll worry about that later. Okay, we got to make room for you. Um, uh, not up there. I don't know if this is affecting my, uh, arm at all. It's not flashing, so I have no idea. Alright, there we go. We can put the metal, metal workstation down here. Like so. And then, uh, mixer. Forged iron, that's the one thing we're short on, is a lot of forged iron. Okay, but you will take the claw hammer and the calipers, or the, sorry, not the calipers, the torch and the calipers. Okay. Got a few electrical parts out of that, that's, that was nice. Alright, uh, how are we doing with the hammer? Almost done. Once the hammer's done, we'll get the big forge going in here, then we'll head off and get that treasure, I think. Running low on food again, because of course we are. Fourteen seconds. What do you got going on in here? Might as well get that done. Alright, there's the claw hammer. Big forge. Nice. That's gonna let it give us the ability to start crafting steel. Once we make ourselves a crucible. Which we need forged iron for. We got 54. Actually, we can get our mixer going too. Uh, mechanical parts, springs. Might as well get one going so we have it up here. I know we got one downstairs, but I want to get rid of that from down there. All right, let's get ahead. let's get out of here. Let's go get that treasure. Yeah. See, now I said I wanted to get a cooling mesh mod. It's like we're not overheating anymore. <laughs> it's it'll. It'll wait until after I go ahead and uh, make it, and then it'll make me wish that uh, I had made something else with it. All right, you know what it'll do? No, I know exactly what it'll do. I won't overheat, and I'll make a different mod, thinking I don't need the cooling mesh mod anymore. And then as soon as I make a different mod, I'll start overheating again. Because that's how we roll. Okay, so we are in the green grasslands biome. What the hell is this thing? Is this just a weird terrain generation or is this like a... Some kind of weird ass POI. I think it's just a weird terrain generation. What the hell? Sure. Alright, uh, we might as well push this guy's face in. Beautiful. Ooh, cow. Ooh, hazmat gear. And forge ahead. Sorry, buddy, but... Uh, my need to live outweighs your need to live. Alright, nine, eight minutes left in my cast. Let's hope digging this up doesn't fuck my arm up completely, but we'll see. Alright, that shortened the, uh, search radius. Let's see where it shortened to. Oh, of course I'm going the wrong direction. Of course I am. Why would I be going the right one? You know, it's funny. People talk about my negativity all the time. And I, a couple people on YouTube have mentioned that, you know, I shouldn't be so negative and stuff. I get that, but you know what it is? It's not really that I'm being negative. I'm just making light of the situation. Like when I say, oh, of course it's this, or oh, of course it's that. It's, it's only because my experience in my life, it's like, how do I explain it? There's a bell curve in life. 
right? You've got people that are like lucky all the time and people that are unlucky all the time. And then you have most people that are just kind of in the middle. Okay, so we want to keep going that way, all right? So you got a lot, of, most people are just in the middle. So they get lucky sometimes, they're unlucky sometimes, and you don't really notice it, right? The people that are lucky all of the time, I don't know if it becomes arrogance where it's like, oh yeah, you know, it becomes like, it's not luck. It's, you know, it's be just because I'm skilled or blessed or whatever you want to call it. But then there's people that are unlucky all the time. You can either choose to get depressed about it. It's like nothing seems to work out for you. Or you can choose to be like me that it's just like I laugh about it all the time. Like, it's like, it just for me, it just seems so, so like funny. I don't think I'm like the unluckiest person in the world. I'm probably like... So if this if super lucky was like 100% and super unlucky was like was like 1% or 0%, I'm probably about 35%. Like I'm about yeah, it's this way. You know, my luck is like two out of three times you know, I'll be unlucky and then one out of three times I'll get lucky and that and that puts me at the point where it's like when you get lucky you're like, "Oh, I got lucky." And then you think, oh, I'm going to get lucky again. And you don't. <laughs> you just, I get so used to it. And the funny thing is, is like, I, I've I explained to people, like people that know me, I've explained to them about my luck. And none of them believe me at first, right? They just don't, they don't believe me. They're like, ah, oh, no, there's no such thing as the bad luck and this and that and the other thing. And I don't really, first, I don't believe in luck per se. I don't think luck is a thing. I think it's a descriptor for situations. It's a good descriptor word for, you know, situations that happen to people, right? And some people get into bad situations more often than good ones. Not, not necessarily through fault of their own, it's just because that's how it happens. I think that's what it's like with me. I've been lucky not to be in, be in horrible situations, but as far as goofiness goes, like, you know, um, like, I mean, you see it in Seven Days to Die when it's like, I open my mouth... And it's like instantly right after I open my mouth, the game proves me wrong, right? And that happens a fair bit for me. Or maybe I'm just noticing it more. I don't know. The possibility could be that I'm just noticing it. I, I Maybe my confirmation bias is the fact that I notice that things that more than other people notice it when it happens to them. So it's not really that I'm unlucky. It's just that I, I, I see it as being unlucky. I don't know. All right, we are apparently getting closer to the treasure, but it does not feel like we are getting closer to the treasure. It feels like we're just digging down, digging a mine to go to China or something, even though China's not technically on the opposite side of the world from Canada, but you know. All right, hearing footsteps. Hopefully it won't be a wandering horde. I never did check my ammo situation. I probably should do that at some point. Uh, didn't hear me digging the clay, but he heard me uh, hitting the stone. Come on, fucker. Get in the hole. I ain't got time to waste. There you come. Oh, not gonna drop in that little hole, are you? Here you go. Got any hazmat shit for me, buddy? Let's see if you got hazmat. You do. Another zombie. Come on. Bring it in. I should I, I should start carrying around signs with me and then like when I get it in a hole like this I should just put it outside the hole and it should just say free hugs and pointing down to the hole so the zombies could just get some free hugs when they get here it's like oh free hugs let's go down there and check it out not much of a well it's a nailed bat free hug come on treasure where are you so while I repair my shovel here, I'm just going to go ahead and repair this. Um, I want to make a mention again, because it's been it's been weighing on my brain. I didn't know if I, if I should really say anything. Um, several episodes ago, and I believe it was um, in the uh, Battle for Astrakhazi series, I made a mention of, and I'm pretty sure it was, I made a mention about depression. I had several people comment on my, on my posts, because I mean, I, I, a lot of... It, it's a really bad time for depression for people, right? Um, I've gone through depression. I'm still going through, de through depression, right? Uh, I don't think anybody's like immune to being depressed. And a lot of people just don't... 
I don't know. I don't. Uh, okay, I'm not going to comment on it like I know what I'm talking about. Um, I think some people just don't notice the fact that they're depressed. Things just go bad for them, and they don't understand why and that. But what I want, what I do want to say, is my outlook on depression is a little different, I think, than most people's. Um, I don't see it as a weakness. I just see it as part of being human, right? Um, because I don't believe, like, I, I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in a soul or any of that stuff, right? I think when you're dead, you're dead, you're gone, right? Your body's just a collection of cells, and it's going to do what that collection of cells is programmed to do. Oh, come on, man. You can't do me like this. Um, so, you know, when it reaches a state of depression, it just, you know, there, there are chemical functions that go on in the brain, right? That, oh, come on, don't, give me it. One last chance. Oh, God damn it. How many hit points does this thing have? All right, I'm breaking in. So, chemical processes go on in the brain. It happens for everybody. I think the key for people, if you're depressed, or you suspect yourself of being depressed, number one, don't be afraid to say it and seek help, right? There are a lot of people in this world that'll help you. You know, and even if you don't want to go to a doctor or can't afford going to a doctor, I mean, not everybody is not... Like, if you don't live in Canada, you might not have free health care, which means getting to a doctor might be too expensive for you. But you got to talk to somebody about it, right? Um, not everybody's going to understand, because not everybody's been depressed before. So you're going to get people that say, oh, just think positively, or just do this, or just do that, right? It's not about that. Because some things will help some people and other things will help other people. Um, there's no quick cure for depression. It's not like you can just, like even if you're depressed and you go on medication, there isn't even like, like some, medic some medication for certain people will work wonders and for others it won't. Right? Um, and I'm not saying everybody should be medicated or whatever. Uh, right now, I'm not on, on any medication. I was taking um, an anti-anxiety medication because I used to get mass, like super massive anxiety attacks. Um, and even though I've kind of trained my brain to cope with them, like now, like when I go into a massive panic attack, it's just like, okay, I'm having a panic attack, so what? Like, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't freak out over it, right? I don't allow myself to freak out because I know it's the, just a chemical reaction in the brain, right? It's the chemical f flight or... F flight or fight response is all it is and as long as you understand that and you realize it you know for me I'm able to just ride that out which is what I do now depression it's not the same thing I'm not going to say it's the same thing um, but I'm slowly training myself to do that to kind of ride it out you know let's go ahead and scrap uh, where are you here let's got these guys training myself to ride it out right um, and understanding that, um, you know, it, once again, it's just a chemical reaction in the brain. And, you know, there are people that get so depressed that they become suicidal, right? And, uh, you know, that's kind of, I think, part of the reason why I was afraid to mention things about depression. Because if, if somebody hears this and is at that point... And I'm giving advice and it's bad advice. I don't want to like, you know, push somebody over the edge. I'm just some guy, right? Don't take what I have to say and apply it to your own life and think that that, um... Sorry, I'm just getting a bit choked up because my brother was suicidal for almost his entire life. So don't, don't take what I have to say as gospel I guess just understand that you're different than everybody else you're not going to feel things the same way everybody else will I mean yeah we're all like you can say we're all human right and you know we all experience things the same way and maybe we do um, but how your brain interprets those things is going to be different from the person beside you and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that right The best thing you can do is just be true to yourself, I think. You know? You don't want to be, like, saying, Oh, I can't do what so-and-so can do. Or, 
I don't have the ability to do this. I don't have the ability to do that. Yeah, so what? I don't have the ability to do a lot of things either. And, and I know, and everybody can't do everything, right? And, and, you know, if you take the bell curve things, some people can't do anything. And there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make you less human. It makes you human more than anything, right? What I can't tolerate is people who don't understand that. You know, and you get these assholes that are making comments about people um, who are going through a hard time and don't understand what it's about. They can't understand because they can't experience all like the person that's going through it can, right? They just don't. So just have a bit of sympathy. And if you know somebody that's depressed and they don't recognize that they're depressed, um, find some way to help them out. But you also have to acknowledge that there may be nothing you can do about it, right? There may not be any way for you to help them. I couldn't help my brother, right? Doctors couldn't help my brother, right? So the only person that could help him was him. Um, and even then he had an impossible time getting through it, right? And just so you know, my, my brother was severely handicapped. Um, by the time he was 16, like he, he, he was a very, like very much into sports, uh, very athletic. He could have pretty much done anything. And then by the time he was 16, his physical life had pretty much ended, um, because his arthritis was so bad, he couldn't do anything. And he also had ankylosing spondylitis, which is a curvature of the back and, you know, a, a few other things. And, and he had, you know, basically slowly through his teenage years deteriorated to the point where. He wasn't really able to do a lot. By the time he was 21, he was on steroids almost all the time, um, just so that he could actually function, you know, like move around and stuff. He was in a wheelchair pretty much permanent, permanently by the time he was 30. Um, so, you know, and I still remember the shock on his face when, because he used to think he was weak and couldn't do anything and that. And I told him like, you know, one day I told him, you're like the strongest person I know. Because if I had been in that situation, I wouldn't have been able to cope. There's no way I would have been able to cope with that. Right? Um, but he got through it all. Like, he did it, right? He had a son and everything, right? Um, through all of that. So, like, he was so strong. And he lived until he was ooh, in his mid-40s. So, you know, and later on in life, he found out that he had Huntington's too, which, uh, if you don't know anything about Huntington's, feel free to go read up on it. It's a horrible disease. And you don't die with dignity with that thing. Um, but he didn't die from Huntington's. He died another way. Um, he was in a nursing home when he passed away. But, um, you know, you just have to understand that, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is if you're, de if you're de depressed or you know somebody that might be depressed, get help. You know, find a way to get them help. It's, 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 and, and you know what, and you, you can't expect if you're like, depressed, you cannot expect to just like, you know, in a day or so, be better. It can take years with some people, right? It's, it's that way with me, right? I'm still depressed to this day. Teamwork with me and the guards are stealing all my XP. Thanks guys. You could have shot these guys at any point in time, but nope, you're gonna wait for me to engage. And then steal, you fucking XP thieves. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not an expert, right? Don't take my word for anything. Uh, go do go do your research. Find, oh, our trees are growing. Right? Find out about depression. Be educated on depression. Um, even, if you're, even if you'll never be depressed in your entire life, it's still important to find out about it because I guarantee you, you may know someone that's depressed and not know it. Right? You may not, you may never know that they're depressed, right? Because people put on a really good front for other people, right? You, I mean, look at someone like Robin Williams, right? No one would have guessed that he would have committed suicide, but depression is horrible, right? It doesn't matter who you are or how strong you think they are, right? Anyway, now we're back home. Serious talk is over. Let's get some serious work down here. Now, we got some stuff to sell. Oh, uh, you know what we want to do? Which we probably should have done before we left the uh, site. Let's put that on. Somebody's banging on the goddamn wall. 
Look, we took enough damage last night. I don't need you arseholes. Do them more. Hey, Ma, what's up? Ooh. You can't steal that kill. Or that one. One pipe. Oh, we got more coming. Hey, buddies. You guys hear the uh, commotion? I saw you were going to show up and see what's going on. Fucking... Hmm. Thought that may, may have been a vanguard for another horde. All right, let's get in here. Anyway, I just... Yeah. I know, I, I, I can't stop harping on but I, I just do... I feel it's important to talk about Sorry depression and not sweep it under mood. the table. My coffee maker's on the fritz again. Is it? I wish we could make a coffee maker, then I would just kind of get one and put it on the counter for her. <laughs> How sweet would that be? Like, you know, if you, if there's like passing comments like that, it should there should be like a little, I don't want to say backdoor, but some kind of programming. Like when she says, oh, my coffee maker's on the fritz again. If you come by with a coffee maker and give it to you, you get like extra faction points. That would kind of be cool. And you can hear how the traders complaining about whatever, and then you just come by with uh, what they want, and uh, they're happy. Okay, we're gonna grab an anvil because I don't want to make another one. We need this for the new forge. We gotta find a tool and die set. We gotta make a bell. We can make a bellows. How much ammo do we have? Fifty nine. We're good there for now. We can make a bellows now. Tomorrow she's gonna restock, so hopefully we'll be good. Let's go up. Wait, what was it food wise? A can of pasta. Salmon. Uh, I think we're probably good. Like. Yeah, I'd find everything I like. All right, let's get in here. Okay, so uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to put a light, a couple of lights in here. Too bad you can't just rewire like these guys. But whatever. All right, so we got some stuff that we picked up on the way. Let's drop that in here. Anything else that goes in there? Nope. And we got some stuff for here. That we can scrap in the workbench. Uh, duct tape can go in there, and then in here we can drop you guys, uh, you two. We need that for the big forge. You can go in there. All right, so there's the big forge. We can go ahead and scrap this in here. We picked up five steel too. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, so we want to go ahead. Now we got that. Put you in there for a second. Let's grab the big forge. Now this thing requires a f like I think the same room as the uh, yeah. It's a pretty big. Pretty big size. Let's make some room for it here. I gotta take all these out. I'll have to do it one night and strip all these out. But let's put it right here for now. All right, there's that taken out. We can put you in the corner. It looks like hell, but we'll fix that up. Put that in there. Now we need to make a crucible. Um, so this gives us the chance to put a bellows. So let's make a bellows. Uh, leather. I keep looking in the wrong damn one. We need that for the bellows. Is it just leather we need for the bello bellows? Advanced bellows, we can't make it yet. Why not? Did we get a skill point today? We did. So, is it because I don't have... Where does the bellows get? I thought you would have been able to make it here. Oh, uh, you know what? It's tied to... Yeah, there's like a book or something that you have to... That's not that one. Actually, is it in tool crafting or something? I don't think so. I thought... I guess there's like a book or something you need to read that I think gives you bellows and anvil. But we can already make the anvil. Was it this one? Unlocks the forge. Unlocks the big forge, which we've already got. Reloading weekly. Unlocks 9mm bullet and shotgun shell recipes. I should probably take that. Yeah. Take that for now. So we can make ammo. Um, yeah, I guess we have to do that. We don't have to. I think it's probably the right right thing to do. All right, well, let's get the steel. And I think it was, was it mechanical parts we needed? And something for 
the pistol receiver. Yes, we can get one of those. Why can't we get that going? What are we missing? We got it. We got everything. Lead car battery required. So where do we make that then? Where's that made? Oh, a lathe. Uh, okay. Can we make a lathe here? Portable lathe. Loot only cannot be crafted. All right. Well, I guess we got to find a lathe then. <sighs> sure. Let's break out another thing here. Let's break you out. Well, we know what we're doing tomorrow. Going looting again. Got to find a lathe. All right, so we're not making pistol parts today. What else can we do, though? Um, what are we missing? Well, we can make a mod. Now, see, we didn't overheat today, right? We didn't overheat at all. We could make a shotgun choke mod. I don't know if we want to do that, though. Um, wood splitter, no. Oh, I wish we had the ability to make, like, Iron Breaker or something, but we don't. Tactical rigging, that's later on. Shotgun tube mob, uh, maybe Grave Digger. But, you know, that's so common, though. Uh, cooling mesh. See, the thing is, is if we start putting cooling meshes in, I can start wearing the letter jacket, because it's cool. Um... <laughs> But we need better armor and stuff first, too. So let's just hold off. Let's not spend any points on that. Now, what should we do now? We got more food here. Trying to figure out what we need to do. I know there's something we need to do. Oh, I know what we needed to do. Um, lights. We got basic light bulbs, but we can make other stuff. We can make a lantern. I want to make a lantern. I want, like, lights. Growing light. Industrial light bulb. Is this just the light? I thought there was other kind of lights in this game. Can we make them elsewhere, though? Oh, I'm hungry and thirsty again. Jeez. Will it never end? I almost should... I'm thinking about taking... Uh, what's it called? Hang on a second. Taking that... Oh, yeah, we can make... Now it's workbench. I thought there was special lighting you could make. Maybe that's later on. Um, so there's lamps. I guess it is just these lights. I thought there was better lighting in this game. Forged iron electrical parts and a regular light bulb is two forged iron. But this one lasts longer. Let's just go with, uh, I don't know which one's better. Let's spend less resources, I guess. Electrical parts, where are you? EPs, there you are. All right. Oh, really? Okay, and, well, we could put, we could use these guys too. I want to put them in the center of the roof. I think this would look better, though. Let's go for looks. Let's get two of those going. And we're going to wire them up. Uh, let's put you here. Oh, um, you know what else we need? I don't know if we need that, too. Uh, there's a timer. Timer relay. Where's I get one of you. Got somebody up front. All right, we need to break a way out of here. I guess we do it here. Because we got to be able to um, hook up to the... Uh, we want to bring the battery bank in. What am I doing? So let's do this. Okay, let's grab you. How do you know I'm here?
Can you guys do your job for crying out? I can't be... I can't be the laborer slash farmer slash friggin' house protection guard guy all the time. I got shit to do. I'm doing my job and your job. Uh, that's a demon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will suffer apparently. Screw you. What are you hitting? You're shooting inside. Did somebody go in? Oh, uh, don't make me go in there. I'm trying to hit somebody. There we go. All right. Ah, shit. Good thing these guys don't have a clear line of sight to the street where I am. You're just going to give up on them? What are you doing? Who's shooting them? Hey, I steal your kill. Is somebody inside? How did you get in here? What the? Is that a wandering horde or just a single person? Where did you get? Oh, for Christ's sake. You know, you try and do stuff. And these just idiots just get in your way. Okay, I need to get a lot of clay and get a lot of cobble. And we need to make, like, spikes for outside and, like... Where are you? That should theoretically be it. I wanted to go down in the mine tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen now. Like, as soon as I get down there, I'm going to have to come back up here again. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and put these lights in. we got our generator inside now, so let's get it up in this corner. Fuck's sake, there's somebody else out there now. Alright, let's put you here. Just because. Get the gas in. Get you in there. Hitting something out there. Oi! I was just about to say, that's how you deal with runners, you take their legs off. And then as this guy runs up on me, I take his head off. I'm like, ah, deal with runners however the hell you want. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody else banging. God damn, man. It's gonna get crazy real fast. Now that the first Horde Night's done, we're on day eight. It's going to go nuts. All right, let's get some lighting in here first, and then we're going to call it an episode. I feel like we haven't gotten a goddamn thing done today. All right, so let's drop you. Uh, where's the middle? There is no middle. Put you right there. We're going to put one light in here. And one light uh, probably there, I think. And then let's get our wire tool. Yo, wire tool. Starts with a W. Ends with an L. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Put you in there, though. Excellent. All right, we're going to wear you up. There to there. There to there. And there to there. And then we're going to go to here. Options. 
Start time will be, actually end time is going to be, uh, I guess I could have gone the other way, four in the morning. And start time will be this time. Now if we turn you on, lights come on. Ah, uh, see that's nice and warm. That's a nice warm light. Alright, now we need to wire up. That's a dog, I think. Alright, we can reach it from here. Nice. Excellent. Now, what's the easiest way to get over there? I'll probably leave this up here too for now. Like that. Like that. Are you fuckers gonna go to work or are you just gonna like... Let this guy destroy your home? They're probably all like, oh, he can't get to us now, so we're not worried. Like, yeah, but I got all this work down here. I got shit I've been doing, and you guys are just effing the D. Yeah, now I gotta heal you. Don't shoot each other. Be nice to each other. You need to be you need to be healed a little bit too. Look at the zombies out there. What are you shooting? Oh, that guy over there, really? Oh, he turned at the last second. I bet you I would have got him, though. God damn it. Ah, uh, question that one. Where are you going? Right to the weak spot. Die, you bastard. Man, I'm not going to get any mining done tonight. Oop. There we go. Well, that's how you know when you die, when you get the skill point. We got a guy right here. Oh, I think that was a headshot. That guy's down. Is he getting up? He's getting up. Uh, I questioned that whether that one missed or not. Oh, you turned at the last second, you bastard. I'm wasting my iron arrows. Ah. They're going right to the weak spots. You know, you guys... I know you're not being paid, but like, you know... Don't you think staying alive is like more important? I know, I know they can't get up to you, but still. Well, have they broken that building? And out that window? You're all dead. We lost the guard here. Where's the guard that was here? Ooh, we lost the guard. Somehow. Um, I wonder if one of the other guards shot them. Yikes, that's a possibility. Oh, we should probably, uh... Close these up, too. That'll help a little bit. Alright, well, let's get back inside. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And tomorrow we're going to go on and do some quests. Alright? Until next time, we'll see you all later.